Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're Everyday CNAs. You know, the countdown is here. Christmas is right around the corner. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm kind of, of ready, but it's kind of hard to get into um, the Christmas mood with everything that's going around. Well, I'm more ready now because... Well, at least like you said now we're like some of the homes are opening up more mm -hmm. to where we got a lot of decorations going on and we have a lot of different stuff so they can come out of their room and and so it's see kinda, everything yes so that's good i'm kind of happy this year more than any year i'm happy yeah. this year because it's been a bad you know like the it's year been a blessing been a, that it's starting to not come to an end but um our residents and everything are being able to get out and about and visit with their loved ones just a little bit more. And today on the show, we're actually going to um, talk about a post um, that was on Facebook, and it really made you stop and uh, think about Christmas and think about your blessings and count them as well. Yeah. And the post had to do with gifts children may or may not receive from Santa Claus, leaving some children feeling not love by the elves that made the gifts or they have been bad or undeserving of a gift. You know, and some parents have lost their jobs. Some of them only have, like it's only one parent working. You know, they're making ends meet, so some kids can't get. But the thing about this, people took Christmas to be a different, Christmas is not about gifts. No. It should be about just, especially this year, it should be about spending time with your loved ones, like, because some people don't have those loved ones to spend time with exactly. anymore, you know. So this pandemic, it's made people realize, you know, the real importance of everything. Of so. The real importance of it. So. But um, after reading that article, um, the residents kept coming back to my mind, um, not receiving or um, giving a, a gift, a loved one yeah. to, you know. Because they do um, like doing They're not that. even going to be visiting this year. Mm -hmm. And I know at the Veterans Home, um, they always did like A Corps and B Corps and C Corps. They had their special day. Oh, yes. Everybody was dressed up. You could up take pictures with them. Yeah. And so this year, um, it's not going to be like that. And it kept coming back to my mind after reading the article and then stop reading it and going back because it did really make you come to terms with everything that was going around. Mm -hmm you know, in your own personal lives and stuff. And I kept thinking that maybe even um, some of the residents could feel the way the children may feel yes. this year about mm -hmm. not, you know, undeserving. Why is it their loved ones coming in? And some of them aren't able to comprehend that, you know, this is a serious illness. It's not something that I've done. My loved ones are not mad at me. But it really made you... Um, just stop and think and count your blessings. Well, you got to think about something, too. The dementia unit, they don't understand a lot. You know, you have some that understands, but some doesn't understand why is, you know, my wife not coming right. or... Right. So it's just hard. It's going to be it's a different... Hard. But I think you have some good news through everything that we've been talking about. I think um, you have a NACA member you were going to mention. Yes, I do. Latoria Rogers Badgett from Oakvale, Mississippi. You know, she has the CNA on a mission every year where she hands out bags. And she brings joy and love and smiles to the elders in her community like she does. Her and her husband, they do, do it every awesome. year, so that's great. That's awesome. Um, I heard there was about 250 bags that were given out last year, and well over 400 bags may be reaching um, the community wow. as well this year. And uh, these bags represent the smiles, um, the laughter, and the wonderful memory of this one CNA on this mission. You know, so yes. we just want to say um, thank you for Latora for your dedication and having that um, big heart of, of gold. And um, you're just amazing and uh, you inspire all of us. And yes. you're letting uh, none of those elders and the residents in your community feel undeserving, just like those children may have in that article. You know, that's great to do something mm -hmm. like that, though, to take your own money, your own time, and... Yeah. And she was recently um, featured on CNA Heroes yep. with Lisa Sweet for the same um, story, and it touches my heart, and I know it touched your heart, yes. so we really wanted uh, to express our love and appreciation to her as yes, well thank you, on uh, this show. And, uh, yeah, we just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas from the CNA TV, NACA staff, and the Board of Directors. <laughs>